Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. I am your host, Miss Keisha Boyd, and this is my co-host, Officially Jorge. Seriously? Really? You know what, see? That's 75%. That's 75%. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Hi, everybody. How are you, darling? You they say the third slurp is rude. Oh, okay, but that first mm. one is okay. Yeah, because I suck at that flavor like on my lips. You know what? You look fabulous. Thank you, darling. Girl, oh my goodness. So, we haven't seen each other in like a week. Right. Right? <laughs> but a the, lot has happened. Yeah, in because week. like you are like you had all your stuff going on. Yes. I had all my stuff going on mm-hmm. that we were going to tell you all about. Yes, there's so many pictures and videos to share with I you. Know. This world traveler here. You know, Ooh. I'm just trying to get on his level. Look, look, I'm just trying to bring you the tea personally. That's right. And we <laughs> appreciate you bringing the tea to sip on. Right, and yes. this time, um, every five minutes, she's got a new hairstyle, new new glasses, you know, and new outfits, and new fascinators. You know. And I that's just, just Tuesday That's for her. just Tuesday, baby. <laughs> Maybe Wednesday, but definitely Tuesday. <laughs> but we have so much coming up for you. But first, coffee. Slurp number two. You know what? <laughs> Mocha in the Morning is brought to you in part by the Portico Cafe, where conversation, connection, and community create change. Three, two, one, drop! shooting in Denver, like fairly close to where Columbine was. You know, this cannot, cannot be a new normal for us. Well, and, and, we keep, and we keep saying this yes. like, over and over and over Like again. somebody has to put their egos aside, you know, Democrat, Republican, I don't care. Somebody has to do yeah. something. We yeah. have to do something. This cannot be something that just becomes like, oh man, another one, oh man, another one. Like, we just can't. We just can't live like this. This is right when it seems to, like, Calm down, down a little bit, yeah. Here know, we go again. Another, here we go again. So, who's, I mean, and the election. I mean, you know, right now, election, you know, everyone's revving up. Yeah. And all these candidates are out there doing their thing. Somebody got to speak up. So, somebody needs not only speak up, but actually really do something, do something about action, it. Action, action. Anyways, um, and speaking of doing something about it, um, here's another steamer. Well, we all remember Senator Bland. Say her name, speak her name. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, um, well, sh- they just recently released the video uh, that she took. It was her, her, own, video, her yeah. own video. And um, let me tell you, it's turning some heads, and people are like, what in the world is going on? With I mean, just, again, with, with the gun violence, and then with what's happening with police brutality. Yeah. Like, what kind of training? What kind you know, when you Cause hear Because the option was not in danger. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. Very clear. And, and I think the family initially thought that they were going to get the level of justice that they thought they could, yeah. you know, get. You know, but clearly, you know, there there's more. It's just, again, just very sad. It is. It is. You and know? four years later, yeah. it took four years to but release But she's that. the one to reveal, you know. The truth. The truth. Of what really happened and what went down. It's terrible. <sighs> um... Here's another thing that's super terrible. Oh, these steamers today. My goodness gracious. But hang on, yeah. because you need to know this. <laughs> yeah, because, the information is Because, I mean, necessary. you got you know, you to gotta stay woke, and when you woke, you ain't got to, you know, get ready if you stay ready. That's right. That's um, right. Well, the new president of the NRA, mm-hmm. let me tell you about this lady. <laughs> First of all, they totally ousted Ollie North, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, girl, bye, or boy, bye. Mm-hmm. And this... 
you need to do your research on this woman. First of all, do you know that she actually opposed the MLK, um, the, um, what, what's the word that I want to use? Tribute. Um, okay. Uh, and also, at the same time, she's also the same woman who's on the board of directors or on the board for the largest Confederate oh, wow. right, memorial. Uh, memorial. Wow. Uh, and of course, uh, that's in uh, in Georgia. Uh-huh. So I believe it's, like, it's a Stone Mountain is what it's called, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they have that etched out big wall. Yeah. Anyways, that's who we're dealing with. And she also clearly states that she is a 100% patriot, that all of her kids are proud gun owners. They're, they are very America first kind of family. It says that, that the representative won because she's a minority. Yeah. Okay. So that woman says that about the other woman, and it's kind of like, who they want to start? They want to start stuff. Okay. And it's, but the thing is, like, it, it's not about what uh, she said, kind of thing, because people would say all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Do your research and find out who these people are, because then you find out what they stand for, what they believe in, and then you know what kind of political game they're going to play. Absolutely. So obviously, this president of the NRA has zero interest mm -hmm. in this particular woman of color, who uh, apparently only won because she's a woman of color. So. This this lady is saying that oh the NRA president saying that Representative Lucy Macbeth was only chosen because she's a minority, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which uh, yeah, exactly. You are only, well, you know, there are several reasons why people are elected for office. Yes, yeah, they pay for it. They Boom. earn it. You and know. some people do want to vote for a woman and a Correct. woman of color. That's right. So you get know, ready. I mean, get into it. Baby. Anyway, so so let's talk about um, the Democratic presidential divide yes. because of this the, the inmates and voting right you know here in florida i mean we'll definitely be watching this because it's a big issue because mm -hmm. here in florida they were approved to vote that that the vote uh, inmates were right. well not inmates but um felons ex-felons yes ex-felons yeah. were able to vote restored, and now the rights restored rights restored and now they have to pay a fine what? I didn't oh, hear that yeah, part. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear that part. No. Now they pass it that they have to pay all their fines and any debts they have before they can vote, which is crazy. So there's a wow. big fight with that. But this inmate ex-felon thing is huge. So we'll be definitely keeping keeping you That's up That's amazing when that. they can, like, slip in. Oh, yeah. And they make you think like you won. But here's the but you did it. And then no. Yeah. It's crazy. It's because it's control. They well, the thing is, though, um, the issue with this, though, is uh, people who are inmates currently. Yeah. Um want to be able or want to have the right you know to, to vote. vote and so i still need to do some like deep thinking i need to do a deep dive on this because yeah. i still need to get some more information so i can even like form an opinion or oh, yeah. you know think about how does i feel about it's it it's definitely a steamer we'll be keeping our eye on absolutely but we'll be back with piping hot stay tuned i promise it'll be more fun <laughs> Welcome back to Mocha in the Morning. Once again, I'm your host, Keisha Boyd, and this is my co-host, officially, Jorge. We are back with this yes. week's hot topics. Yes. Piping hot, hot topics. Topic. We're Let me back, say that. back, back, <laughs> Just the last right. segment was rough. Listen. Oh, my gosh. According to some people producing this show. <laughs> <laughs> Shady boots. Before we even get into our hot topics... I'd like to introduce you to our favorite contributor, hey. Miss Kia Shakur. Better What's known up, as guys? Hey, boo, you're looking beautiful today. Skin looking all glowy, okay? Yes. Thank you. Let's yes. get this party started because I feel like there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about. Yes, oh. honey, let's and, get this and party going. You know going. what? If I, anyone I, can, Kia Kef can. Kia Kef I, can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yes, listen. Black Girl Magic is on fleek. Do you hear me it's all like, around? It's a tic tac toe. And listen, <laughs> yes. Miss Teen USA, Miss America, hey. and Miss USA Hello. are all black women. And we could not be more proud of this history making mm -hmm. moment. If you've been under a rock, get out mm. and just Google beauty, and all of them will pop up. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Beauty, brains, <laughs> elegance, grace, class, 
They all represent it, and I'm so, so proud of all these ladies. Did you see the interview with Gail and, what? and that was, CBS? It was pretty deep. Let me yes, tell it you. was. Um, not to mention, like, you got attorneys, you have teenagers. I mean, you have, I think it's a really great representation. Yes. You know, at the Black Girl Magic uh, base. Yes. <laughs> It definitely, definitely makes us proud. Kia, what do you think? I think it is gorgeous. I love the fact that all of these, all three of these women are smart and educated. Like, like you said, we got a lawyer. We also have a trained opera singer. Um, I think the 18-year-old has already picked out where she's going to college. Like, they're all beautiful and very smart and understanding of how momentous this moment is because it's a big deal. Black women can do anything and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, and the, the other thing is, we remember because last week we talked about um, Miss Teen USA who won and she was in her natural, natural hair, hair. Mm -hmm. uh, which is yes. pretty awesome. So, yes. again, it was great to see, like, oh my gosh, you know, across the board, across and the board. If you just happen not to see it, take a quick look at the video. There are no more black female CEOs yes. of Fortune 500 companies, and that is an unfortunate statistic to know. But I think it's also a reminder of how far we have to go. And you know what? Let me tell you, uh, the part that it. I love um, was when they're talking about, when Gail asked them, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. And the young lady says, it still means that we have a, a ways to go. Wow, well, yeah. We still got a, a ways to go. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is victorious and this is great, but we yeah. still have work to do. Cool. All right, listen. Like, we got some more, we got more work to do now. Yes. Okay. Jorge. So, speaking of work. Speaking of work, okay, <laughs> yes. This, right, right? He's so special. So this handsome man had the opportunity yeah. to go to the Met Gala. Yeah, I got to camp out. To camp out <laughs> and see all Your... of everyone in their glorious what glory. An what an experience. Tell us. What an experience. First of all, I totally missed all of you and it's so hard to be in this business and you don't have your squad or your crew because seriously for the first time ever that i like in my most recent history um like i was fumbling i was fumbling like i was like what am i doing like what am i doing like i don't know if i was fanboying fumbling not paying attention and like la la land you know because you're in new york yeah. and all you smell is celebrity and fabulosity yeah and like i got caught up in that current and I was like boy you better swim now listen we have we could talk all day about yeah. Met Gala but yes. we have a few things we're gonna touch True. on but who was your favorite look my favorite look oh my goodness okay my favorite look was of course Cardi B yeah it was just so like she nailed <laughs> it uh you know it was uh, for, it was just exactly what camp is supposed to be okay like, camp is Truly, first of all, like we're all pretty much in camp all day, but like it's truly, truly, truly outrageous, over the top, and she took up every bit of space. Did step. she? Oh my god! I mean, like she had like fifteen people just holding to help. her yeah. down. Um, that was only because of uh, not necessarily the artistry of her um, of her gown, but only because she took the theme and went all the way there, like all the way there. So, before I say my cue, who was your favorite look? Lupita Nyong'o was my favorite. I really? thought she really took camp to the next level. Um, she actually looked like she was about to walk onto a drag show, which is really what camp is. It's from the drag era and, you know, beyond that, of course. But she had the gold picks in her hair with her fro. She had the shoulders. She had the colors. She had the crown. It was it was a perfect look for, for the night. I loved it. You know who my favorite was? Who's your favorite? Janelle Monet. You know what? I could see that. I loved her look. Yeah. She was a walking piece of art. She was like a work. Yeah, she, yeah. she truly And was. her little, little uh, eye was blinking. It was. <laughs> I popped that. I was like, hey. She was absolutely awesome. Now, let's get into some other things that yes. at the Matt Gala. Tiffany had, a sh had fried chicken <laughs> on the red carpet. Now, she was hungry. I mean, she was passing out the fried chicken, though. I, well, you know, sometimes at these events, it take a long time. You know, people are talking, 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 the press, media, no. like, all that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily bring fried chicken, only because, like, the oil, you need to stain your clothes. Um, but I don't think Kia appreciated the fact that <laughs> she brought her nuggets to the, to the red the carpet. I'm sorry. I mean, everybody, if you haven't checked out my YouTube video about it, go ahead and check it out. But it's The link just is right here. Point. We'll put the link right now. This is the link. To her um, video, <laughs> she got some more info. <laughs> so, but so, no, I, I feel like it's 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 just ridiculous. 
ridiculous. You brought fried chicken and you carried fried chicken in a seven thousand dollar handbag for Michael Kors. And and if she would have brought like some Ritz crackers or a lunchable, I feel like a lunchable would have been cute. But the fact that she brought fried chicken in a Ziploc bag, not only are you embarrassing the Met Gala, but you're also playing playing up stereotypes about African Americans. Like I'm tired of the stick. It's funny anymore. It's embarrassing. Like get it together. It, I, I'm done. I don't, Keisha. How do you feel? Because I want another black woman to understand how I feel about it. You know, listen. <laughs> see, see, I like how she's. Everybody listen. Starts like that. That means she agrees with me. You know, you're right. Like, I, I I, think that some people, and I've seen this happen with Tiffany more than once, where her humor is not as yes. humorous. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not funny. It's not cute. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, exactly. you have to, you, you have to, you can be yourself, but you don't have to bow down to, like you said, the stereotypes or, you know, and some people are like, go girl. Yeah, that's cute. You brought some chicken. No, no, no. I didn't think that was no. very cute. So, you know, do your thing. I'm not on the red carpet. You are, so do your thing. But I'm just saying you can be a little bit classy, boo. That's all. Well, and a lot of times because with these types of events, mm -hmm. these are, <laughs> like, seriously, white spaces yes. that people yes. from uh, brown and black spaces want to get into. Correct. So we're not saying don't be who you are. I'm just saying about a be girl, mindful. like, um, would your mom be okay with, like, you doing that? Like, is, are your friends going to the side and be like, girl, why'd you do that? They're making me sad. But Jorge, and, but listen, if she would have brought peanuts in her bag, like a Ziploc bag of peanuts, or, a, again, a Lunchable, or a Ritz crackers, or a brownie, or something like that. Just not chicken and watermelon. Bad. Right. Yeah, and chicken. Chicken, watermelon, and grape soda. Don't bring those to public <laughs> events. Not grape soda, purple soda. Don't bring that well, to, uh, I would just to, to public I would, events. Seriously. Okay. Well, like Beyonce yeah. brought, didn't she, Beyonce bring a snack for uh, and Blue Ivy? Mean, you know, Capri, yeah. But that was like, that's what you do. Like, But I think she was she was trying to go for a punchline. And yeah, she Kia got it. just wants to punch her in the face. All right, well, let's talk about <laughs> Big Freedom. Hey. And Sierra, twerk, twerk, twerking okay. it out. When this twerk, was, twerk, okay. twerk, twerk, I twerk, actually, twerk. I saw this happen, like, in person, right? Yes. And I didn't know what was happening and, like, why it was happening. Right. You know what I mean? I was kind of like, okay, what? And at first I didn't realize it was Big Frida and Sierra. And then I thought Big Frida was Sierra only because I could, I was in the back. I was seeing them from the yeah. back. And I didn't realize it was Sierra with the two buns. Yeah. Like, okay, so that was Sierra. Yeah. And the other one's Big Frida. Because I was like, but then I'm like, okay, but why are we twerking? Uh, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. First, they were there like really, really, really early. Mm -hmm. Because everybody else was still at the hotels. And they didn't start getting there until like 7-ish, right? Yeah. So I didn't know if they were like part of the pre-party or how to like set up. I mean, but was it was it a part of a, 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 a what was it, Kia? What I were they doing? I don't understand the twerking and the sex. We're just doing it to say that they've twerked on the pink carpet because it's never been done before. But again, like the fried chicken, this wasn't the time for that. It was not the time for that. Like we, it's not even about being accepted in white spaces or anything. It's just about understanding where you are. You're at the Metropolitan um, Museum for the Met Gala. Like, and, and Anna went towards one of those women. She don't give a damn if you're white, black, blue, green. If you don't act right, you don't get invited no more. There's plenty of white people she gets kicked out of these events, and Jorge can attest to this. Oh yeah. So you all twerking, I feel like it's just inappropriate. Like it's a cute video, great, you're on the gram, but you're it's the wrong space. It's the wrong space. Yeah. And I must kind of feel like you know, they they want to get that shot. They want to get the money shot. They want to be this thing that all the media groups are like talking mm -hmm. about. But I was kind of like, and again, what? if this like, was a white girl tap dancing, I'd feel the same way. Like if you don't get your taps off this pink carpet, I'm a, I'm gonna throw something at you. Like it's not the place for that. The only place you think would be good is maybe a ballerina doing something up the stairs. Maybe a ballerina. But everything else, it's a no-go. Well, and, and, and if the theme was like how dance has like, you know, Changes. changed fashion or something yeah. like that, then I would see. But I was kind of like, okay, okay what? <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, I love twerking. Right. <laughs> listen, let's talk about Odell Beckham and his kilt. <laughs> I love it. Did you love I it? Would, I've worn a kilt before. Okay. Yeah. 
and it was a tuxedo kilt. I actually saw it um, at the window at um, Bergdorf uh, and, and Goodman. And, Goodman. Uh -huh. and, you know, Gucci was actually the sponsor of, um, of the Met Gala. And I totally, you know, like, okay, I totally get it with the theme and all the store windows. Yeah. And um, I saw the kilt, tuxedo kilt and all that before I even went. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, oh my God, look, he's wearing it. I just saw that like in the store window. I thought it was cool. Awesome. What'd you think Very about airy, it? Very airy, breezy. This isn't camp. <laughs> it's almost like his, his some, one of his friends from the team was like, man, I think this is camp. Go buy this. So he bought it in there. That wasn't camp. <laughs> what, what, what would have been camp, I feel like, if he had taken his whole uniform and turned it into maybe a suit and be dazzled the whole thing and did something with his helmet or something cool, that would have been camp. Put a cape on it. But just having a cutoff sleeve kilt, that, no, that is not. Was that camp where I, I don't think it was camp, and also, you know, with kilts, um, it was actually really cold. I mean, it was like, yeah, it was super crispy, and I wasn't prepared for that. I was like, oh my goodness, I did not prepare. It's cold outside. Yeah. Um, so I knew, like, when you wear a kilt, you don't wear underwear. Mm. And so I knew his other um, friends, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> we're, not, we're not warm under that well, kilt. Well, then. Yeah. Because yeah. there was like a draft when you got them stairs. And, you know. Speaking of sticks, <laughs> <laughs> Trump awarded Tiger Woods a freedom, a medal of freedom for swinging his awkward on the golf course. Okay, so he received the the presidential medal of freedom Yay. from Trump. He Which looked so uncomfortable bizarre. to me. He looked like he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was like, okay. Ooh. Yeah, and you know what? When I saw this image, I thought about you. Okay. Because the only thing that kept popping in my head was like, "Oh, Uncle Earl." Uncle Earl, yes. <laughs> Kia, what do you think about this presidential medal of freedom? Do you think he should have gotten it? I, I'm not sure if he needed to get it because I thought I didn't. I don't know why athletes get that type of award because I thought if it was you were contributing to the community, the only thing he's contributed is. Heading around STDs, the cocktail waitresses, but whatever. That's yeah. fine. Um, so, so <laughs> that was a, a unsolicited contribution. And also a lot, yeah, he'd be running through the Waffle House girls, but anyway, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the Waffle House girls, no offense. Because y'all be tossing. <laughs> no waffles. No waffles. Like, yeah, wait, 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 I'm like, so toss, like smothered, and covered. Um, <laughs> So all of my jokes aside, they people were asking how he felt about getting an award from Trump, seeing how he is part African American. He said he's been he was conflicted with it, but it is a big award. He had to go. You can't turn it down. But it did look really awkward. It looked really it looked really awkward. It looked fake. really dicey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and fake. He should write it look real fake. Yes. Yeah. Now let's go on to some amazing news. Prince Harry and Meghan oh. Markle welcomed their baby boy. Baby Sussex. Yes. Baby Asher. Sussex has a name. Has a name. And it is Archie Harrison Mountbatten. You better Mountbatten. Mountbatten. Yes, Mountbatten. Windsor. Mm. Work. Windsor. Archie. I mean, not work, but I mean, that's, right. I was saying work. Right. That's not part of the name. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I mean, she's she's a good one for coming out two days after delivery to, to present like, her, her baby. I didn't, they would have had to wait a week. Yeah, it just seemed like she just came out of labor and she's doing a video. I'm like, what? Yeah, T take a take a peek at, at baby Sussex. She's so sweet. Though. Yeah. Sir, he has the sweetest temperament. He's really calm and. Um... <laughs> he gets that from. <laughs> Right, and he's like, he's like holding that baby, and almost didn't want to show them his face. They were like, "Can you, can you tilt him a little bit?" And I think she was, I was getting the vibes like she was more like, "Give me my baby, please." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think she was. Kia, what do you think? I think she would definitely like give me my baby because um, <laughs> she's a new mom. She's a new mom, but yeah. um, I, I, I'm, I'm with you, Keisha. I do commend her for coming out, and it's not that she came out; she came out in full glam two days after having a baby. Yes. Even Princess Kate didn't come out in full glam. Princess Kate came out the day after she had the baby, had on the caftan, moving with some flats. Here comes Megan, full glam, dressed that looks completely uncomfortable in high heel shoes. But the baby is beautiful. I'm hoping the baby's real name isn't Archie. I'm hoping it's Archibald 
blank me, blah, blah, Mount Chocolate. <laughs> You know, Mount Chocolate or Windsor, Mount Chocolate Windsor, whatever his name is. Mount yeah, Mount it's just Ar- not. I hope it's Archibald. What? I'm sorry, but the right. baby's adorable. He looks like a proud father, and she Listen, looks like she just look, wants to go to say all my names. Let me tell you what I really would have loved if they would have named that baby Damien. D- just something real ethnic. Or Xavier. Like, what, what Xavier, like, yes. Or like Jamal. Just, it, it, yeah. <laughs> Any of those would have worked. Tyrone. Me. No, not Tyrone. <laughs> no, we can't do Tyrone. We're not doing Tyrone. Jaquan. Jaquan Windsor. Boom. <laughs> Listen, Levon. I'm here for it. Our king. king. Any day. There we go. Luther. No. Not I can't Luther. deal. I can't deal. I cannot deal. Demita Joe. Demi- uh uh-uh. uh. You know what? No. All right. Now. Miss Aisha Curry. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to talk about this. Let's talk about Aisha Curry. So mm-hmm. Aisha Curry is is catching a little, you know, they've been on her on Twitter, okay? Mm-hmm. But she says that she cannot stand the flirtatious women right. that, you know, are after her husband. Who would, right? The thirsty thoughts. The thirsty thoughts. Mm-hmm. So what do you have to say? This is the thing. First of all, like, why are other women mad at a woman upset at other women trying to get at their man. Like, why would you be mad at that? Like, I would think that that would be like, you know what? Like, should it be like the opposite kind of thing? I mean, that's just kind of just weird for me. I mean, I wish somebody would try to holler at my man in front of my face. (laughs) (laughs) Please, I'm going to invite you to do that. (laughs) What's going to happen? Right? What's going to happen? Turn down for what? Turn down (laughs) <laughs> Listen, we are all married, yes, okay, mm-hmm. and you know, you too. I was talking to our producer. Yes, we're all married. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we're seventy five percent married. You know what? Hush. <laughs> I get it. You know, <clears throat> I've never had a woman be that b- b- bold. Bold, honey. I mean, there's one thing between bold on Twitter, but when you're doing it in, in my person, face? Yeah, no, man. Oh no, 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 no. no. Handle. Mm-hmm. Hand mm. those. Yes. Okay. I mean, I don't. I mean, why did you hug her? Because she's like, "Hey, yo, get it together." I mean, because that's, that's, what, that's just what we do. That's just what we do. Unfortunately. Who? We as friends. <laughs> anyway, I'm Team Aisha Curry. Me too. Obviously, her team is winning. Hello. <laughs> In there. Honestly, All right. You with no trophies. Now, this past weekend. Yes. I hosted my fifth annual Derby Delight. I know, it's beautiful. And we had such a wonderful time. We have amazing pictures that you'll see right now. Take a look. You know, listen. You did that thing, girl. You did We had a great time. Everybody looked great. Mm -hmm. Now, if you watch the Derby, which, you know, I do, obviously, um... I actually placed my bet on maximum security, number seven, because that's my lucky number. Okay, okay. However, after he won, there was an objection, and he was essentially disqualified. So they they have, like, instant replay? Yes, they had an instant replay, (laughs) and the the horse got out of his lane. (gasps) Yes. Okay, but wait a minute. Isn't it, like, dirt, though? How do you know what's your lane? Like, there are lines? Listen. I don't know how they know, but you can't cross the path of another horse, I'm assuming. Ugh. But he was disqualified. And yeah, it was so ugly outside and muddy. Ugh, it but if you're just running for your life, I Look. mean, you know, like, I'm just like running. And you gotta I run in know. a straight, you gotta run in a straight circle. You can't. <laughs> That's you can't, a lot to ask You for. can't cut the horses off. So I, they disqualified <gasps> the, the, the horse and. I was like, oh, God, it was sad, though, because there's a lot of. Because you lost your money. I mean, yeah, that, and it's a lot that goes into these this this derby race you know what i mean and there's so much so many things going around you know the derby and all that stuff that goes on but well the tea is like it is gambling that's what happens like you're placing bets yep at the same time i'm not a fan nor do i support or advocate anything like where we have to use like animals for the purposes of making money and entertainment like that Mm -hmm. but just like any other sport you know, you win some, you lose some. Absolutely, and everybody you know? had their good days, and some just happened. I have wish a bad Serena one. had thirty grand slams, but unfortunately, that's right. You know, sometimes it's just not your day. Your day. You know, I know you thought you won, 
Mm, but you did. Up. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of who trying to win, Jesse Williams' wife is trying to win. get that guap. She's trying to win that money, okay? I'm so sad about this. Yeah, I am too. Anytime people are getting divorced, it's sad. No, 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 not in that. Anyway. No, I'm not just, all the time, but you know. I'm, I'm this particular couple, because okay. he seems so passionate about like his support, you know, for black women, you know, and people of color in the industry. And I was like, all right. Like, I just felt like he was so like being that. He might have been. They just might not have been compatible. And but then like he was like, girl bye. Girl, I mean, hey, you never know what happens in True. the relationship. So whatever the case may be, she's trying to get that. yeah two hundred grand no. She's trying to root for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he makes, but doesn't he mean like, he makes two million dollars an episode on um, uh, Sean Rhymes joint? I was gonna um, say I was you know it's Grey's Anatomy, I know, but Grey's because Anatomy, of you, yeah. because of her, I was gonna say Earl's Anatomy. Earl's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta go back to Earl? I don't know. Look it out of my head. <laughs> but he makes like what, two million dollars an episode on Grey's Anatomy. Um, so I don't. I mean, two hundred thousand out of two million. I don't. I think. I think that's. I'll ask for more. You know what? Whatever, I just want to know what she got to pay for. Yeah. But two hundred dollars a month and no children. I don't think she is available. She, she, look, she is trying to get paid for her commitment and her time invested. Right. She could have been the star. Hey. And instead, listen, she decided not to, to let him be the star of yeah, the. Yeah. Well, you got to pay for that. That's not free. It costs. It costs. It's, it's costs. Sorry about it. Now we also have to talk about another event that you happen to. I got that one. Great. <laughs> So, Jorge, once again, our <laughs> traveling star, superstar, <laughs> was able to go to the Glad Media Awards yes. in New York. Yes. Where you had Madonna and oh my gosh. Don Lemon Don and Lemon, Andy Cohen. Tell Andy us about Cohen. it. Andy Cohen. Oh my, I got to meet like the cast of Pose. Oh. Like Billy Porter. I saw. I was good. I haven't posted any of those pictures or anything yet because I was just like, let me just go into the studio. Let's do our show. Yes. Because, like, I'm still like, I'm still trying to process everything that happened this past weekend mm -hmm. kind of thing. But, um, wow, what an event. I mean, you go to an event in New York and, like, I'm telling you, like, it's all out. And for the people who are in, like, if you live in New York or yeah. L.A., mm -hmm. you're used to that. So for right. them, it's like nothing. Mm -hmm. And, like, we've been in this business for a hot minute. Uh -huh. But truly, again, I was just kind of like, Okay, now what am I doing? <laughs> like, what's, you know what I mean? I got so caught up and just like the savoir faire of it all that I, I just wasn't like focusing because yeah. I was just kind of like, oh my god, <laughs> like what? You know, Overwhelming. I was table number six. I'm like, that's in front of the stage. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's me. That right? <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, should I be acting like Anderson Cooper or like or... I want to take a selfie with Anderson? Like, you know what? who am I right now? It was crazy. <laughs> But yeah, the cast of Pose was there. Oh my, Sarah Jessica Parker, mm -hmm. you know, Andy Cohen, his parents, it was so cute. Needless to say, Jorge had a great time yes. in New York, it was okay? Fabulous. And we're so appreciative and yeah. happy that you get to bring us all of the tea well, personally and, here. And I was actually, because I always give away all my swag, and uh -huh. I did have all this swag to give away by like Chaz, who with the Wen products and uh -huh. stuff like that. But I couldn't get past security with them, so mm. I left them at their hotel oh. for them to have. Oh, that's so nice of you. I'm sure they were happy. I am, because you know I'm one of them products. Too. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with our mocha moment. Oh, Stay tuned. Is, we got it. It was straight out. I had all this stuff that I could. I'm like, I can't bring this on the plane. Welcome back to Mocha in the Morning, where we have been adding a little flavor to your morning blend. It is time for this week's Mocha Moment. If you, is that your third sip? Really? Really? That's your third one. You know what? I'm going to slap you the next time. <laughs> it's time for our, I tell you, it's daggone 75 percenters. All right. <laughs> Our Mocha Moment, if you have any awesome videos, pictures with your family, friends, traveling, just having a great time living life positively, we want to hear about it. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Mocha Morning Show, on YouTube as well, and share it with your friends and yes. family as well. Yes. 
So what do you have for us for Mocha Moment? Well, first of all, this week's Mocha Moment is that I, I'm not a bragger and I don't like to boast, uh-huh. but I do like to show receipts. Yes. And uh, they say this week's Mocha Moment is me with the different cast members of HBO's hit show. So let us know if you have a mocha moment. You can tweet it, Facebook us to us, Instagram us at Mocha Morning Show. Yes. And super thank you to the Portico because <laughs> look at their new shirt. Oh, nice for Tampa. Are you for Tampa? Awesome. Every purchase helps reduce homelessness in Tampa. So make sure you come down to the Portico and support. Absolutely. Just I, like they support. I got you one too. Oh, thank you. Because I want you to help reduce homelessness in Tampa. Aw, he's so sweet. Don't live here, but I still don't want people to be homeless. Yes, we have to be for <laughs> Tampa. I love it. All right. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for tuning in today to Mocha in the Morning. We'll be right here next Friday, 10 a.m. live. Hopefully we'll have no slurping because, oh, uh, just rude. That was on three. I got no slurp. Oh, Hashtag. my gosh. No slurp. You know what? I love you. Have a great weekend. Bye. Talk to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, though. You can look it up in the etiquette book. Mm-hmm. The third slurp. Is That's true. It's just the slurp after. You can do up to three.